Good morning, I'm Miss Hess. Welcome to River's Edge. I teach first grade and these are my first grade students. You wanna say hi? Hi. And we are so excited. We are gonna do a STEAM activity today. And our STEAM activity is going to be about a book that we already read earlier this week, but we're gonna review it real quick. Do you, who can tell us about what this book was talking about? Arielle? The big oil spill that happened in the ocean that killed a lot of animals. A big oil spill that happened in the ocean and it did affect lots of animals. A beer? What oil, what bad things oil spills can do. The bad things that oil spills can do. Shrianch? Some, some of the animals could be getting extinct if, uh, if a lot of them were getting harmed. Shivan? Also, how, um, it could, how they could clean oil spills. How they could clean the oil spills. That's what I want us to talk about today, how they could clean the oil spills. What were some <laughs> of their strategies in the book for cleaning the oil spills? Samarth? We were talking about landfills, and that's what they do with landfills, but what were some of their strategies for cleaning up the ocean water when oil accidentally spilled into it? Shreya? They put chemicals in it. One solution was they put chemicals in it, but even that, what was the side effect of that? The chemicals were getting in the air. The chemicals were also a little bit harmful to the animals. Aria, what was a different strategy? Um, Okay, like using kind of like a sponge. Okay. Neva? Like those big vacuum cleaners. They did kind of look like big vacuum cleaners, these um, machines that they, that they used. The oil was, was at the top of the water. Why was oil at the top of the water? Oil doesn't dissolve. Viha? Because it doesn't dissolve. What does dissolve mean? What does dissolve mean, Chloe? It fades away. It fades away. Okay. Suleiman? Well, I could just see the oil but it's not even dissolving. It doesn't dissolve because oil, if it mixes with, or if it gets with water, what does the oil do? It separates. It separates, it stays on top, okay? So the oil was on top and they were using a couple different strategies to try to clean the oil, okay? But using these strategies, they cost a lot of what? A lot of what? Well, there were a lot of side effects, Gemma? A lot to the animals. It costs a lot of money too, right? It costs a lot of money to try to clean these up, and then some of sometimes it produces a lot more trash than um, than how kind of what it started with. A beer? Oh, and we even talked about how sometimes some people would even do it on purpose, and of course that's definitely not good either. We're going to do an activity today where you guys are going to see how well you guys can clean up oil if there were going to be an oil spill. So our activity is gonna be called the oil spill cleanup. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give every, we're gonna do this with your table. And every table has a container of water about filled halfway filled, filled up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, was this the kind of oil that you think was spilled in? No. no. What kind of oil were they talking about in our book? Almost like the kind of like the gasoline oil that like you would put in cars, right? This is the kind of oil that we what? cook with, right? But we're going to see if we can use um, this kind of oil to see if we can clean out the oil. So what is going to happen in every container is I'm going to put one tablespoon of oil on, I'm going to pour it in everybody's container, right? And you'll be able to see this better when it's in front of you. But of course, we know about oil that what, what is it going to do? It's going to separate, it's going to stay on top. So you'll be able to see the oil kind of floating on top of the water and you're gonna to try to clean it up. These are the different resources you can use to clean it up, but you'll notice that each resource, what? Costs money. Cost money, right? Because we were learning about these, uh, the cleanups that they can be expensive, they can take a lot of time, okay? So you're gonna to try to see how well you can clean up your, con your container of oil and how well you can clean the water, but as cheap as you can do it and um, we're all gonna have the same amount of time. We're all gonna have about 10 minutes to do it. But these are the different things that you can use. You can use a cotton ball, but each cotton ball costs 
One cent. You can use a coffee filter. The coffee filters cost five cents. You can use a spoon, but the spoon will cost ten cents. You can use a sponge. That will cost 20 cents. You can use a, a squirt of soap. Uh, so I've got some Dawn soap back there. That will cost 30 cents. I'll do that part. If you need soap, just let me know. We'll talk about that in just one second. Um, you can use a pipe cleaner. That costs 40 cents. Now, all of this, when you're done using it, is going to have to go in where? The in the trash. So you'll need, if you're going to have trash, you're going to need a place to put that trash. OK? You need a tissue? So you can, um, you can get a cup for waste. So this uh, costs 50 cents, but that's where you can put all your trash. OK? Now, each cotton ball that you use, when you throw it out, that costs 10 cents. So really, if you're using a cotton ball, it costs how much? 10. 11. 11 cents. 10 cents to throw it out, plus the one that you used. And then, what does labor mean? Does anybody know what that word means? It's kind of like a clock. No, it's not. I know I put a clock, but it's not exactly like a clock. It takes time. It does take time. Labor is the, the work that you're doing. Right? If you're doing a job for somebody, that's labor. Okay? So labor just kind of means like another word for job. So for each um, minute that you are working, that's going to cost you money if that's your job. So I'm going to charge two cents for each minute, but we're all going to have about 10 minutes to do it. Okay? And so what we're going to do is you guys are going to go to your table, and I want you to communicate and I want you to collaborate with your groups okay, about what materials you will need right away. If you need some drawing paper to decide, um, you can get your writing journal out and you can sketch out some ideas if you need to. I'm going to give everybody a piece of paper that explains. Each group will get this. I have enough for each person, but I think it might be easier if each group had one to kind of be able to communicate and collaborate a little bit better. Okay? So you're, this tells how much everything is and what your job, somebody's job in your group is going to need to be um, in addition to helping to recording the different things that you're using. So if you use two cotton balls, we would probably need like two tallies or the number two right here to let us know how many we used. Does that make sense? OK. Um, and so I'm going to let you guys go ahead. We're going to have about 10 minutes to do this. And then we're going to talk about how we were able to clean, what strategies were helpful, and which ones weren't necessarily helpful. Shreya? How do, how do we pay the money? Um, so what we're going to do is I also, it's a really good question. You don't have to use this, but I'm going to give each um, table a cup of coins so that way if you need help figuring out how much money I don't want us to focus too much on the money part um, until the very end we can talk about that later in math this is going to be more about the cleanup but we will talk about how much money we spent later at the end of the activity but I don't want you to worry about it I want you to figure out how you can clean it up the most effectively and then we'll see how much it costs okay and we can kind of compare notes with different tables to see well how did you clean yours up cheaper does that make sense Okay, so what we're going to do is I want you guys to go to your tables. I'm going to come around and I'm going to give everybody a, a container that has your water and uh, table one, you already have your oil in it. All right, this is for table six. Maria, your table five. All right. Be very carefully, carefully, carefully carrying it. There you go. All right, Evan, table three, right? And Gemma, your table four. Okay, all right. Hold on one second. Boys and girls, I forgot one thing to tell you. The, you may use as many of the items as you want, except for sponges. I only have enough for every table to have one. Okay? So if your group grabbed two, just bring one back. But every table can use only one. You don't have to use them, but we only have enough for every table. Every other supplies, we have enough for as many as you leave. A coffee filter? All right. I'm looking to see groups that are communicating and collaborating with the people at their table. Every group should have gotten this paper. If you do not, I can get it for you. You're going to use the sponge. Okay, what are you going to do with the sponge? We're going to suck up all the oil with the sponge. Okay. Um, what are you going to do with the oil once it's on the sponge? Oh, a cup of waste. All right, well, decide with your group what you guys are going to need, okay? How's it going over here? What do you guys think? Then maybe we should use so the sponge. Scoop the oil in there and then pour it in here. Yeah, that's a good job. Sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and start with your group then. Make sure you guys are communicating with, with everyone at your table. And then do you want to be the person who records what you've used? So if you have a sponge, you can take, keep note of that. 
Mm-hmm. Sound good? Yeah. All right. What's your strategy? So, so we're going to um, um, suck it with this. Okay. Then we're going to um, squeeze and put it in there. Okay. And we're going to put it in there. Oh, sounds good. Can I watch? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you guys think? It's not working. It's kind of. Kind of working? Well, why don't you uh, continue with the rest of your strategy and see if that would work. There you go. You said you were going to pour it into the spoon. All right. Okay. Okay. And put it in the... Yeah. Trey, do we need a cotton ball? Oh, that's a good question. She's thinking maybe a cotton ball? Yeah, maybe a cotton ball. Okay. What would you use the cotton ball for? I can show you a like, substitute for this. Oh, to, to substitute for that. Do you think what you guys just did worked? Why not? It's taking the water, not the oil. It's taking the water, not the oil? Uh, I do have soap if you guys want that, okay? But otherwise, you can use as many of these as you want, as long as you're recording what you're using. Do you want soap? All right. Okay. Um, let me know when to stop, okay? What do you think? Is there anything you can do to it? You want to use a sponge with it? Okay. What are your thoughts? You don't think it's working? Are there other ideas you could use? Just make sure that you're keeping track of what you've used so far. So you guys have used soap and a sponge. I'm going to come back and see how this is going in just a little bit, okay? What, what you guys are doing? We're trying to make the pipe So wait, I'm taking the oil out. No, uh-huh. let's get so, so, so we also use the sponge to, um, like, soak the um, oil. To soak, the, okay, to soak up the oil. And we're using a cotton pad. Okay. What strategy do you think, or have you guys used this already too? Yeah. We're okay. putting some, well, oh. I can take oil out of it. Did you use the spoon to try to do that? Yeah. How did that go? How do we well, it did oh. a little. Good. It did do a little? It a little. Wait, okay. oh, I got, I got it Well, yeah, but you want to keep as much clean water in here as possible. Oh, yeah. So you could, but then you wouldn't have any clean water. Let me know if you guys want to use any soap. Has the pipe cleaner been effective? Um, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Do you guys have any other ideas? You want some soap? Yeah. Okay, let me know when. Okay. Okay. Let's just mix it with the spoon. Okay, so mixing it around with the spoon. What are your thoughts with the soap? Why do you think the soap would work? Because wash the oil because, because if you have oil on your hands, you put more clean water. If you put oil on your hands, you can wash Oh, okay. So it's kind of like cleaning our hands, but trying to clean the water that way? Oh, I see a lot of oil on that spoon. That's great. What are you guys going to then do with the oil? Let's get a cup. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's mixed. Get a cup? I think that's a really good idea. How has the sponge been working? Not well. Why do you think not so well? Okay, you can still say that again. Oh, you just you just started using it. It's okay. All right, so you have a cup for waste. Oh, I think that's a really good idea. Um, and then remember, our goal is to have clean water, so we want to keep as much of the clean water in as we can. It's going better? Yeah. What did you guys, uh, what strategy are you doing now since I talked last? The cotton balls because they're kind of working. The cotton balls? Um, the only thing is I'm getting a little worried that we're, we're not having as much water left in our container. So we want to try to do the best to keep the clean water in. What are, you, uh, what are your thoughts on the pipe cleaners? So he's so we can yeah. try to make it like um, big so we could try to like we can use two. Um, carry it. Oh, okay. So we can use two. To try to carry it? Oh, we need cardboard. Yeah, cardboard. Why do you think you would need cardboard? Because then um, it's going to go through here. So. It would go through? Yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying. Maybe you could use something else um, to kind of help with that. Well, it's okay. If you want to use that idea, you definitely could. 
All right, how's it going? What have you guys used that's been working? Two sponges and a spoon and a cup and a sponge. Okay, two sponges. Two sponges. Or two cotton balls. Okay, two cotton balls. Okay. Um, I agree, your water looks like it's getting very clean. Remember, we want to keep as much of the actual water in there. We want to just get out of the, we want to just try to get rid of the oil, but we want to keep the water left for like the animals to still be able to swim in. So what we're going to do is later in math, we're going to figure out how much this all cost us to do. Okay. But before we do that, let's talk about what worked. What strategies worked, what strategies didn't work. So we're going to go around to each table real quick and I want you to kind of tell us what you used that was helpful and what you used that didn't really work that well. Let's start right here with table six. The sponge didn't work really well. The sponge didn't work. What was? So they were using, they started using a sponge. They said they didn't think it was working that well, right, Gemma? So then they decided to um, use the spoon, Gemma, to filter out the oil at the top, right? Ethan, will you tell us about the strategy you were just doing at the very end? After we scooped up all the oil, there should be some water. So I grabbed the coffee filter and I grabbed the coffee filter to do this and then pour the, just the water out without okay. the oil. So they were taking spoons of oil, but they were putting it on top of the coffee filter, and they said that that was filtering out the water that they could pour back into their container, and then the oil was just left in their cup. What, what issue were people running into when they were using the cotton ball and the sponge? Because the, it was taking up the water and the oil. It was taking up the water and the oil, and we wanted to only kind of clean the oil. Last table three, what was your strategy? and then it wasn't working that good because it was sucking up the water and then um we used the cotton ball and then the cotton ball was working a little bit from the sides from the oil on the sides and then we used mm -hmm. um pipe cleaners mm -hmm. and then the pipe cleaners working it wasn't working what did you guys, thank you so much for sharing, what did you guys learn about oil spills and cleaning up oil spills from this activity? What did you learn? Shrianj? Oil spills are a little hard to clean They are a little hard to clean up. What made them so challenging to clean up? Abir? Lots of the supplies is help take out, uh, out all of the oil, but some of them also take out water, but, and we don't want to take out water from the Exactly, that was definitely a problem that we were going through, is we want to clean the water, but we also want to keep the water in the ocean, right? We don't want to um, take out too much of the water, because that could, of, of course, affect the animals as well. Shreya? It's hard because the oil and the water are liquid. Uh-huh. So it's like It was definitely a challenge to do that as well. And then we'll learn later today in math, once we add all this up, that it also can be very what? It can be ex expensive, right? It could be expensive to clean up these oil spills too. So now we're kind of seeing what issues the um, people were going through that were trying to clean up our earth. All right, thank you so much for watching our lesson. Again, I'm Miss Hess here at River's Edge, and these are our awesome first graders. We thank you very much. Ready?